What's going on everybody? I hope y'all ready for a, a new week. So you can see what's behind me. Let me get you turned around. So this is what we've got. Bumper bolts. Uh oh. New steering wheel is in. Got bumper bolts to put on back here. Here's the new steering wheel. It don't look as bad as the other one. It does have a, a few cracks. There's one, two, it's got a couple in the side, three, four. Uh, let me show you what we had here. You can see before we've got actual chunks missing. So, what I'll do is take a Dremel and grind out those cracks and put back some uh, JB Weld epoxy and then do my body work and paint. Inside you can see that we've got, uh, got just a little bit of wire in the button up. Um, I haven't, I've got a lighter, but it's not in that good of a shape. So, a little bit of wire in the button up, steering wheel to fix, bumper bolts, got a dome light to put in up there. You can see the bulge, that's where the screws are at. Uh, I've got to look and see if I can find the little bitty bumper bolts right there that, that goes to those brackets. If I can get all of that done, then we'll hook the wires up on the parking lights that's hanging down at the bottom. Still have not got that piece of trim. Haven't located it yet. Not not nothing worth buying. Got to get the find the hood latch. Everything inside here, other than being dirty, I think is done. Um, so y'all stay tuned. Um, You can see that we've got 57 Chevy truck parts behind me uh, on both sides. Got them actually sitting everywhere. I got a mess in here is what I've got. But we're going to try this week to, uh, to get some stuff gone or to get some stuff cleaned up and closer to gone. Put it that way. Y'all have a great day. All right, Mama, I'll check these out. So I done one and Mama Jr. done the other one. Uh, like he said, oh, I think I see a spot right there. Uh, it was just wet. Got wet on me. Uh, he made the comment, we could make some money off polishing bolts because those were a dollar a piece at Lowe's. And you seen what we had to do. We probably spent uh maybe a total of five minutes fixing it and these that were online which they were bigger and they did come with a lock washer and a nut they were like four dollars a piece so but there's profit in anything if you just get out of the bed and get it All right, Mom, I'll check out this. This is the hood latch for that 64 fire lane. It was rough, rough. So I took, took it apart, cleaned it up, sanded everything, took the wire brush to it, brought it over here, turned that little fan on, got me a piece of paper and a hair dryer. And I heated up every part until it was hot and heat it with the black paint and that lets it grab onto it, suck it down tight, just like a glove. Looks like it's freshly powder coated. 
and then I put another coat on it. When you spray that second coat, it's still warm. You add a little more heat and it'll dry down. And on a wet day like today with uh, so much moisture in the air, it will dry up and the humidity won't affect it. Because if you just spray something with the humidity high, that moisture will turn it milky white. You didn't know, Mama. Now you know. Sixteenth. All right, Mama. This hole right here needs to be cleaned out so that this can go in. And Mama Junior picked up this nice new set at O'Reilly, where he works at. Ever tough thread restoring file tap and die kit and all the little dies you can put in a socket run in with a ratchet or a drill or an impactor and then for your male threads you got the nut that's made that will cut very nice kit so, it's in between. It's so, not seven sixteenths or half. Oh my! Then we we're going to have to source out something else, Mama. All right, Mama, we were wrong. It was a half twenty. If it will focus in, it just had so much primer and clear coat and stuff sprayed up in there. But anyway. We're going to get this fixed up.